Hi everybody, it's Cindy at Upcycle Design Lab. Hey, I have a quick question for you. What do you see when you look at these empty plastic bottles? Pumpkins, right? Well, if your mind works like mine does, then that's probably what you saw. Anyway, I'm working on a display for outside of my house. So I took the biggest shaped empty jar to start with and I'm just putting a coat of primer paint on on to make sure that the paint will stick. To make the knotted vine uh, part for the top of the pumpkin, I'm using a water bottle and a heat gun. Be careful, it's very hot. Um, and I'm just shrinking up the bottle into sort of a gnarled vine shape and then cutting a hole in the lid and using some hot glue to secure the piece in place. And here I'm just adding a coat of primer paint to the plastic bottle as well. To paint the top of the jar, I'm just using a couple of different colors of green and just letting them sort of mix uh, and not mix so that it makes a little more interesting texture. And then I added a little bit of brown to make uh, the vine look a little bit more dried up and realistic. To paint the plastic jar, I'm using a similar technique. I have a little bit of yellow and a couple of different oranges, and I'm just brushing it on and letting it mix to give it some interesting texture. For the face, I cut out some paper templates and then just traced around them, and then I just painted the areas with black paint. For the final step, I added a coat of Minwax Polycrylic. It helps to uh, seal everything and hopefully keep the paint on if it rains a little bit or if it gets wet outside. And it also adds a little bit of shine. So there you have pumpkin number one. My second attempt at a pumpkin was much less successful. <laughs> But here I'm just trying to trim down the bottle uh, to make it a little bit more round and not quite so oblong. And then I used some duct tape to tape it together. And I had a pretty decent pumpkin shape at that point. My plan was to add some ribs to make it look a little more realistic, but everything I tried was pretty much a hot mess. I used some air dry clay, Gorilla Glue, hot glue, liquid nails, and finally ended up with some paper mache, which was still pretty awful looking, but because I'm really stubborn, I decided to go ahead and paint it anyway. I made the top of this pumpkin the same way that I did the first pumpkin, and I painted it in a similar way as well. For my last pumpkin, I started with this empty planter that's in front of my house. And I had a large orange uh, tab plastic tablecloth that I marked the center of and then put underneath the planter. Then I took a bunch of plastic bags, a lot of them were bread bags, so they were nice and long, and I stuffed them with other bags and newspaper and just taped them around the edge of the planter. And then I wrapped the plastic bag up around the top and secured it with a rubber band. To make the top of the pumpkin, I had a really short uh, but large round uh, cardboard tube and I was lucky enough to just find a small green plastic bag. So I took the tube and wrapped the plastic bag around it and then it was easy just to stuff the excess orange plastic inside the tube and the pumpkin was done. And there you have it. Those are my three crazy attempts at making upcycled pumpkins for Halloween. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you'll subscribe to this YouTube channel and check out my blog at www.upcycledesignlab.com.